Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction. It is Skybreak's Monster Cat debut. We've got Lightbringer. This has been a dream of Skybreak's, and uh, not, I wouldn't say a dream of mine, but I've been waiting for the day that Skybreak finally gets a Monster Cat release, because I know <laughs> he's been wanting one for a while, and I've been following Skybreak for a while, and so I just think this is a match made in heaven, and I'm excited for this. And if you're wondering why we're talking about and reviewing this song, or not reviewing, reacting, I guess I'll give a mini review at the end to this track, it's because it was voted on by you, the channel membership. So if you want to join today to become a channel member for just two bucks a month, you can be a part of that voting. And uh, yeah, have a say in the videos I do. You guys have been loving the color base. Every time I give you a color base option, you guys are all for it. So uh, let's see what uh, Monster Cat color base sounds like, at least in some capacity. We've had some other stuff in the past with the, the chime ones, but uh, here we go. This is Skybreak's Lightbringer. I like the opening so far. I like the opening. Okay, a little bit of a harder, like kind of mellow dub slash color base. Oh yeah. Oh, the wom wom wom. Okay. Let's get nice and vibey. Great bridge section there. Okay, where are we going for the finale here? Whoa, the triple fake out. That was a nasty finale. A little, a little shorter than I would have liked, maybe, but nasty. Yeah, was that like a double or triple fake out? I don't even know. It's at least twice. Damn. 
Okay, Lightbringer, Lightbringer, Skybreak's debut Monster Cat single. I am, uh, I'm liking this, liking this a lot. I think it might be my favorite track of the week so far. And uh, yeah, that is, that is sort of what I expected in a way. That felt very uh, Monster Cat-esque while still being very Skybreak, color basey, melodic dubstepy. I hope that makes sense in some area. Like, obviously I know Monster Cat is is a label, but the sounds of it feels like it feels like it fits right into like the Monster Cat overall discography as, as a label because some of the stuff from Rushdown feels very more like to the side. It feels different. I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it. It just feels like I don't, there's a certain so, like ways it sounds like NCS has like a sound, like a, like a, a bit of a sound of the way it's, everything is mixed. Monster Cat has a, has a sound for the most part. Rushdown has a sound. Ophelia has a sound. Um, this feels like a Monster Cat track, uh, which is, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. I'm just stating what I believe here. But uh, yeah, I, I thought the track was really enjoyable. I thought this was, you know, I don't think it's Skybreak's best. I wouldn't say it's one of his better tracks. I, I sorry, I would say it's one of his better tracks. I think it's his best. I, I really love Journey's End is still absolute one of my favorites. It, it ended on my year end list this past year. And it wasn't, uh, this track wasn't as quite, I would say, expansive or maybe as explosive as something like that could have been or more uh, theatrical, maybe is the best way to put it. But uh, this one was still like a just front to back, front to back banger. There really wasn't a whole ton of uh, of like waiting around, like it kind of just got going and it kept going and it really didn't slow down at any point, which I thought was was great. It fits into the whole kind of Monster Cat sound that I was saying earlier, like a Journey's End doesn't feel like it is a Monster Cat sound. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but um, yeah, way to go Skybreak. I'm, I'm happy you finally got a Monster Cat release. Uh, I am happy too, I think the song is great. Uh, big, big fan of this. And I'm, I'm interested now to see if this is gonna end up on my, uh, my year end list, my best of, uh, at least for Monster Cat here, but. I uh, yeah, I'll have to obviously give it some more listens, but right off the bat, this is one that uh, is sticking with me uh, so far, and I and I, I really do enjoy it. I especially love that that last drop again, nasty, destructive, but still a uh, little little short. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts uh, on the track. Let me know what you think and any of any and all comments in the comment section below. Other than that, though, I've been Dakota from Botide Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.